Everybody, it's me, Joy, again. I just wanted to come on here today just to remind everybody about the conference, which is August the 20th, 2016. It's coming up. I'm excited. But God is doing something amazing. And um, when I was taking a shower, God spoke in my spirit and said, prolonged. And basically, what he was saying was, we are, our blessings are prolonged. Because we are not doing the things that he's telling us to do to get ready in our season of singleness for where he's taking us to. So if you're not ready, then he can't move you forward. So most of us, God is dealing with you in areas of your life, but you're constantly procrastinating. You're constantly putting things off. And so, therefore, your blessings are prolonged. And in this case... Your husband is prolonged. Right now in my life, I'm not, I, I promise you, I'm not desperate for a husband. Matter of fact, I don't care if I get one. Now, that's the black joy talking. I don't care. Uh-uh. I ain't worried about no man. Mm-mm. Sorry, I had to go there real quick. But what I am saying is, it's not about wanting a man. It's about receiving your promise. God promised you your blessing, but you have to do what it takes to get to your blessing. A lot of people want the blessing, but they don't want to go through the process. The process is when God um, uh, strip you and allow you to walk through misery and pain and suffering to deliver you from yourself. God, he, he takes you through pain to deliver you from pain so that you can be effective for somebody else. Like he told Peter, when you are delivered, when you are converted, go and deliver your brothers. So what I'm saying to you is, sorry, I'm so tired. Y'all been working over 100 hours a week, plus working out, plus working on my books, plus working on the business. So I got so much going on. Plus I got my babies, well, four kids, but God is good. So uh, real quick, I have a chapter in my book, and it's called Naked and Unashamed. And what it talks about is... Uh, Imagine yourself standing in front of your mirror, naked, in every area of your life, physically, mentally, emotionally, in every area of your life, your, your, your words, everything is naked before your future husband. Is there any area in your life that you would be ashamed if your future husband saw you naked in those areas? Is it your mouth? Do you say things you shouldn't say? Is it your walk with God? Are you... Are you um, uh, slothful in your spiritual walk with the Lord. Is your bank account jacked up? Um, is your body is in any areas of your body that you want to, you know, get yourself tight in, fix yourself up? If it's any area that you look in the mirror and you feel ashamed if your future husband can see you as you see yourself, then those are the areas that God wants done. He wants you to fix those areas. That's how God works. God is a God of decency and order. God wants us to take care of our responsibilities so that when it's time for us to present the ministry of purpose that he has blessed us and birthed in through us, we will be ready. It will be effective. Um, just a reminder, um, uh, the Lord blessed me to connect with one of my sisters in the Lord. Her name is Tiffany Buckner. You can go to her website, TiffanyBuckner.com. Her website, her ministry, her messages have been such a blessing to me during this time of singleness in my life. Uh, her name, my maiden name is Buckner. My married name was Blair. I use Blair because that's the name I have on all my books, my bank account and all of that. But my maiden name is Buckner and that's what uh, that's who I am, Joy Buckner. But I love you all. Pray for me. Like I said, I know I look tired. I'm working so much, but God is with me. So pray for me. Please inbox me for more information about the conference. I love you. God bless. Bye-bye.